Karen from Lion Gate Farm and today I'm going to teach you how to do a cute little DIY bunny and chick for your springtime decor. I'm going to use some little peat pots. So let's get started. So today we're going to make this cute little chick and this cute little bunny and they're nestled in their little pots here. I'm going to show you how to make this. It's a little DIY for spring. These are perfect on a tiered tray um, in your kitchen. They're just cute little guys. So this little chick has a little tail. Very easy project. Be um, a good one for kids, actually. Um, super easy project. Um, first, I'm going to show you some of the things you're going to need. So first, you're going to need your standard three-inch garden peat pot. Okay, you're going to need some of that. And then the paint of your choice, we're gonna use this little blue, and I'm gonna add some glitter to it. You obviously need a little mixing tray and a brush. And then when we get into the felting, you're going to need your handy dandy needles, I like the 38 star spiral, you all know that. I also have a 38 here today, um, 38 star. And then you're gonna need core wool, for the inside of your bunny and your chick. You're going to need your outer colors. We're gonna make a yellow chick and a pink bunny, a bright pink bunny. And then you need a little tiny bit of black for their eyes and their mouth. And then a little bit of locks for that bunny. And you can make a tail out of this. You'll need some scissors, standard scissors. Um, I like to build my shapes on the skewer. You'll need a little bit of wire for your pot and then some wire cutters to cut that wire. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to squirt some paint in here. You don't need very much. A little paint tray. And I'm going to add some glitter because I everything's better with glitter. And this is um just some dimensional fabric paint glitter that I get. And then you have your peat pot. So the first thing you wanna do is take your scissors and you are going to cut part of a heart shape here. On one side, take this piece out so we have kind of a heart. And then you wanna do the same thing on the back. Like I said, this is an easy project. Kids can do this. So you end up with this shape. Let me get these out of the way. We're gonna mix our paint up. It's not gonna look like much until it dries glitter wise. And then you're just gonna paint the outside of your pot. Um, you don't wanna get these pots too wet cause they'll disintegrate. So just add a little paint. Be kind of fun to add some texture to these. Like if you used a little screen over the top of it or made them plaid. That's on my to-do list, but I haven't done yet a plaid one. I'm kind of addicted to making these right now. And we're just gonna add some more paint. I'm gonna do this first so it's dry by the time you're done felting. And maybe you do a couple colors at once if you're gonna make a couple bunnies or chicks. So then you have your little pot. A little bit OCD, I like to do the edges. Then that's ready to go. Again, don't get it too wet because the pot will disintegrate. Okay, so you have a little blue pot. I'm gonna put this aside. I have a pink one and a purple one that I did earlier that is ready. So those are gonna be put aside. Now we're gonna start felting. Let me get some core wool going here. So first we're gonna make a chick. We're gonna tear up. The chick body looks like this ball. It's kind of an egg shape. Actually, they're both egg shaped. You have your chick body and you have your bunny body. 
So that's our little bodies. I like to take about, yeah, it's about a 12 inch piece. And we're just gonna make a round shape here on the skewer, nice and tight. Remember when you're wrapping, wrap flat. Give it a couple stabs. And then I'm gonna take it off the skewer. That's just to get us started. Now we're gonna make an egg. I just like to wrap around. Two needle tool. A little bit more core wool. way. I'm trying to make the base a little bit fatter so the top ends up skinnier. Now I know I have enough here so I'm just going to keep felting it in. This little egg adds, it actually ends up the size of a real small egg. Don't want to make it too big, it won't fit in the pot. So you can take it and rub it in your hands a little bit. See how well you're felted, see what you need. Then we're going to start putting the color on. So I'm using yellow for the little chicky. And I'm just going to tear off a few pieces. Start laying it on my egg. You're just going to keep adding your color until your egg is all covered. Once you get your ball all the way covered, your egg covered, we're going to make some wings. I have one made, pre-made here. Let me show you how to make that. We're going to just take a couple pieces. You, you don't want it super skinny and you don't want it too fat. A couple pieces and then you're going to trace your you're going to trace your wing point side up a little bit below your fiber ends because we're going to use those to build the thickness. You're going to pull that in right at the point, felt it in, and you're going to fold these in along that poke line. 
gives you the wing shape. And you can fold the other side in. I'm just going to poke these into a wing. Remember to flip your flat item so it doesn't become one with your felting pad. So you're felting it from both sides. When I have it done, I like to fold it in just a, a little bit here in the middle. So we get a little bit of a, just a little fold right there. Work it to the middle. And then we're gonna attach them to our egg. Now, I like my wings to flip up. So I'm gonna go about this high. And take that fringe that I left poke it in. I'm just going to poke it until it disappears into your project. And then the top of your wing Just do a little bit of poking so his wing sticks out. I'm gonna take the second one. Kind of line it up with that first one over there. Same thing. Let's attach this wing. So now we have two little wings that are attached. Kind of think about where your eyeballs are going to be. Tiny little eyeballs. Two little eyeballs there. That's where they're going to go. So just think about that for a minute. Now we're going to make a tiny little tail. Just a little triangle of fluff. Same method, poke a, poke a triangle here, fold this down, fold the sides in, no matter what project we do, you're going to learn that a lot of the techniques are super similar. It's just a matter of what shape you're building. I, Make sure you flip it over. I don't care if this is a little fluffy because chicks are a little fluffy. Then we're gonna attach it just like the wings. Probably right back here, mid in the middle. all that fringe just 
to disappear. And then we're going to tack it a little bit from the top. Okay, now we're going to work on our little beak before we put the eyes in. So you take a little tiny, tiny bit. This is one of those finicky little projects. Tiny bit. It's maybe an inch and it's super thin. Same process as the tail, only on a very small scale. You're going to poke a small triangle. Gonna fold the top in sides in. This is a teeny little beak. Now the difference here is I like to fold the fringe up into it. Doesn't look like much of a triangle at this point. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to attach this and keep working it. So we're going to put it right below where our eyeballs are going to go. And carefully between your fingers attach this. And it's a finicky little thing because it's a tiny little piece. I'll work all those pieces in. Kind of hold it looking like a triangle between your fingers from the bottom. And then work the side. And there we have this little beak on. Now let's put some eyeballs on him. Take a little tiny bit of black fiber. Roll this into balls. Oops. Now we're gonna stick it in. The chick doesn't need to be felted super hard at all. Tiny bit more fiber. Trick with this is you can gather these fibers up with your needle, poke them in. Gather up the stray fibers, poke them in. Now, now we're gonna make a little cheeks. Take a little piece, I'm gonna put it right here. circle. Let's see. That one on the side. It's hard to see these from your angle probably because they're the same color as the chick. So we're going to add a little tiny bit of pink. Let's just add a little pink. Make it a happy little chick. Okay, 
and I will put him in his little nest. So I have here a little, no, we're going to give him the purple one. He has a little purple pot and we are going to poke a little hole in this side. And then you're going to poke a little hole. Don't use your felting needle for this. It's not strong enough. Just find something you can poke a little hole in the pot with. You're going to take a piece of core wool, floop it all up, stuff it in the pot. And then if you have little locks, I have some little green dyed locks here, a little bit of grass. We're just going to lay it in there. And a little chick's going to go in there. And then whatever kind of wire you have laying around. I like to put the chick in first before I cut the wire. Thin the wire up. So I know how much wire I need to make a handle, a little tiny handle. And then take your wire cutters. These pots are not the strongest thing. This is just a little decoration. There you go. There's the chick. So next we will do our little rabbit. Let's put him aside. And same, same concept. We're going to build, like we built the chick, you build the egg. So just make it a little bit bigger. This is about as big as my finger. And we're going to go ahead and cover it with the color that you choose for the bunny. So it's a couple steps different from the chick, other than it's bigger. You can see that this egg is a lot bigger than the chick egg by the time we get all the color on. You can see the chick egg versus the bunny egg. tend to make these guys a little bit flat on the bottom so they'll sit up, but you don't have to. Okay, so once you have your bunny egg totally covered, we are going to make some pieces. He's a little bit different than, we're gonna make an ear. We're gonna make some cheeks. So this is an ear. We're gonna make one more shape like this. It is very similar to making a bunny wing. It's just long. Take a little stack and we're gonna poke the shape of the ear. Just like before, we're gonna bend in that top piece, the center and then the sides. both sides.
These need to be pretty well felted because they do stand up on their own. Maintain that pointy shape. And once you feel like you have it well felted, you're gonna take a little bit of white just like we have here. I'm gonna add some more to that one. A little bit of white. I'm gonna poke it into the center of the ear. You can leave this fluffy or you can poke it all the way in. It's really, I like it poked all the way in, but it's cute if it's fluffy too. Add a little bit more in this one because I could see pink through it. A little bit more. If you're making a light color bunny, you might not need as much white, but with this dark color, in order to cover it all, we need a little bit. You notice I'm not poking very deep. I know the white's going through to the other side. I'm trying to keep most of the felting on the top. Now you probably notice this, this ear's already pinched, so we're going to undo this guy. See, got a little bit of white. We're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna pinch it. About the same size as that one. Let's roll it over. That's one side. Go to the other side and do it over here so it's even. Now we're going to put them on the bunny. Placement of these is right on the top of the head. You're going to use that fringe you've got going. Cover that up in a minute with a little bit more pink. And I'm gonna, second ear goes right there. Now I have some white showing. We're gonna take this little piece and we're just gonna cover up the back of his ears. Where we attached them. from the front. Poking straight down into his head. Then I like to take my single needle poke that a little bit closed.
little trick on these fuzzy ears. So you can take your scissors and trim off all the excess fuzzies. On the edges. I think you've seen me do something like that before. So now we're going to build his little face. Now that we have his ears on, we're going to make little cheeks like this. So you're going to take a little bit of your white. You can use core wool, you can use white, just a little bit of wool. You're going to make two little pillows. Get a little piece of pink in there. So wrap yourself two little pillows. They're about a half an inch thick by about three quarters of an inch. Wrap them nice and tight so there's your little cheeks. Kind of decide where your eyeballs are gonna go. Just like on the chick, I'm gonna poke in where my eyes are gonna go. And we're gonna add fringe to the side. Poke this in round. Do the same thing back here. Using that fringe to attach it to the bunny. We'll shape them a little bit in a second. Because right now it's not round. You can tell by the sound that I wrapped that really, really tight. Before I poke it anymore, I'm going to put the other one on. So, trick here is to butt it right up against that. His nose is going to end up in that little V. working my needle along the bottom of the cheeks to catch all of these fibers. Now we're going to shape them a little bit. Okay, next thing we're going to do we're going to put a little nose on him. And I have some of this light pink. I just take a little teeny piece. And I'm going to lay it here. And I'm going to poke it into that triangle. There is no special shape about this. Just filling that triangle in. If you didn't get enough the first time, you can always add a little bit more. Now we're 
can add some eyes in his mouth. Eyes are just like the chick. Roll a tiny bit between your fingers and poke it in. Now for his mouth, this is a little bit tricky. Don't need a lot of fiber, but I want you to have, think about separating it a little bit. You may cut some off. Just start, let's poke a little black in here. I'm gonna fill that in. Half of this is gonna go to one side and half is gonna go to the other side. We want a little smile. Just gather those fibers with your needle. a little bit more white and we're going to put it right here hook it into a half moon this chin can be as big or as little as you want it or you don't even have to put it on there but I really like it on there So the difference is between the chick and the bunny, they're both an egg shape, little egg shape, big egg shape. The chick, you're gonna make wings and a tail. The bunny, you just make ears. You know, and you can always um, take a little bit of locks on this bunny and give him a little tail if you want. I don't really give them tails because people don't see them, but if someone's going to take it out, they will. Give them a little tail, and then you can take another little lock. Give them a little hairdo. Just for fun. Poke it in right there. Some ways you can finish your rabbit. You can tie a little bow around his neck and add a little flower. And this is some silk ribbon, another little flower. You can dress them up. But let's put this pink one in his pot. Let's put that chick back. Is that, dry? is that one dry? No, the blue one we made is dry. So, same, same thing. We're going to take a little piece of core wool. Stuff it in the bottom. Now, if you don't have locks like this to put in here, you can always just take some pieces of your colored fiber, stick them in here, and stick your bunny in there. Again, we're going to punch a hole on either side. Cut a little wire. You can 
always tie a little ribbon on your on your handle too. And you have a little bunny basket. Fun little bunny baskets. If you can't find wire, you can always find it in the jewelry section of your craft stores. It comes in colors too, like red and pink and white. This is just some rusty wire that I'm using. Now, if you liked our video and you want to support us, the best thing you can do is subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, that really helps us out, and I'm going to thank you for joining me today, and if you have any questions, just ask, and we will try and get you some answers. I should have some kits for these on the website coming very, very soon, supply packs.